Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Entertainment Brick Show. Today, I want to talk about LEGO DC. Very exciting. I think I may have kind of cracked the code here, as probably many of you, many of you have already, but I think I've kind of cracked the code here on how LEGO DC will look in the coming years. This is probably going to be a very quick video. I just kind of want to run through this stuff because this is very interesting to me. And I'm going to go each uh, year by year here, 2023, 2024, stopping at 2025 and then, you know, beyond there, um, and discuss what I'm thinking LEGO DC is going to start looking like, especially considering LEGO DC is finally back after like a year-long hiatus. We're finally going to be getting an actual wave of LEGO sets. Let's start with 2023, though. Let's start with some of the stuff that we actually kind of already know here. So, if you didn't know, there were some leaks for some LEGO DC sets, and those include... 1989 Batman sets, and also potentially 1992 Batman Returns sets, which are the Tim Burton films. So we're going to be getting a 1989 Batwing set for 35 that includes Batman and the Joker. We're also going to be getting a 1989 Batmobile set for 45 based off the Flash movie to kind of help support that movie, which will probably come with Batman, the Flash, and maybe some other character. I really don't know, but there's still a couple of open listings, which I did make a video on previous I actually don't know if that video has come out yet but there is a video being worked on about what those uh, listings those set listings for the rumored list could be I feel like it could maybe be some sort of 1989 Batman set maybe a 1992 Batman Returns set I don't know but regardless I'm very excited so again 2023 it's going to be 1989 Batman it's going to be 1992 Batman Returns stuff and as well as some sets to support the Flash movie fingers crossed there's a set to support some of the other DCEU movies that are coming out in um, in 2023. Hopefully like Aquaman 2. Maybe like Aquaman 2 gets like a little $30 set or something like that. Like they did with Aquaman 1. I thought that would work pretty well. But yeah. That's 2023 in a nutshell I'd say. 2024 though. This is when we start to get to theorizing and speculating what, what could actually be happening here. 2024 I believe is going to be a Batman the Animated Series year. Where we're just going to be getting... Bat like whole waves of Batman the Animated Series sets. So based off the 2024 D2C leaks, which if you don't know, there was some D2C 2024 set leaks that were coming out. There was like a list of them. Somebody found them. I forget who did, but somebody found them and just sent out the list and we got to see basically what they were. And one of them was this amazing, oh my God, like I, I oh, I, I, I shake just thinking about it because it's so crazy. It's this amazing, like, mural-looking, like, landscape of the Gotham City skyline. And it's, like, this very decorative art piece. And it's all Batman the Animated Series style. And it's beautiful-looking. It's so nice-looking. Supposedly, it's going to come with Batman, Joker, Harley, Mr. Freeze, and the Phantasm. All five figures sound amazing in that animated series style. Like, this this set is is amazing. Like, if you didn't see it, it's amazing. It's so cool. I'm so excited. But anyways, so based off that leak, that Batman the Animated Series leak, I'm surmising that I'm thinking we're going to get a straight wave, just a full-blown animated series wave, which I think would be amazing. That would be, it's such a great idea. I don't know why they haven't done it yet, but oh my god, I, I, that's so exciting to just kind of like have like it, have it fill in in between 2023 and 2025, you know, 2023 is when we have the, the DCEU movies. 2024, we're kind of not really getting any DC movies from what I understand, but 2025 is when the DCU begins, and that, you know, we'll obviously get into that a little bit later, but that's when that stuff begins. So this little, like, breaker in-between period when we have no DC movies, what are we going to do? Lego decides to go Batman the Animated Series on us? Perfect idea. That's amazing. I'm, I'm so excited for that. I mean, imagine, like, a five-set wave of, like, the bat, like, there's like a little $10 bat bike set with Batman and Harley or something like that. Kind of similar to the 2022 set, but we don't talk about that set. We don't talk about that. that, that doesn't, that's an evil Lego set. Um, and then maybe like a $30 like Batwing, Batboat kind of set with like, I don't know, Batman and Killer Croc, like the gray version of Killer Croc. I don't remember if I've actually shared my Lego Batman, the animated series set ideas on this channel before, but I have a couple of, you know, set ideas I feel like could work really well. I don't remember if I put it in a video or not, but if I did, then you're probably just going to hear me spitballing what I've said before. But if I didn't, then this is all new stuff to you. I've also said like they should make like a thirty to thirty-five dollar Batwing set, very similar to the nineteen eighty-nine Batwing set, except it's obviously animated series ba based. Have it come with like I think it was Roxy Rocket or something was a villain in that in that show. 
So she'd be kind of cool because, you know, she flies around on a rocket and then there's the Batwing. Then like a $50 Batmobile. I know it's a high price, but the Batmobile is long. Batmobile is big from animated series. It's a, it's a very long vehicle. So if they want to represent it correctly, I feel like 50 bucks is probably a solid price for that. Have it come with like Two-Face, Riddler, like some strong enemy figures. Have it come with Batman. Have it come with Robin maybe. And then they could do like a $70 to $100 Batman the Animated Series Batcave. Oh my god, perfect wave right there. That, that, that just sounds like a dream come true for me. Because I love the Animated Series so much. So I would love to see a full-blown wave of straight Batman the Animated Series sets. I think it would just be like a summer wave. I don't think they were going to do a winter wave. No April wave. Nothing like that. Just do a summer wave next year. And wait up until we get our DCU stuff. And now, I'm talking about 2025 and beyond which is our DCU stuff. That is 2025, summer 2025, July 11th, 2025, is the start of the DCU beginning with the Superman movie, which again is July 11th, 2025, and um, as well as the Batman 2, also Batman Part 2 is releasing that year as well. So 2025 and beyond, I'm just hoping all DCU stuff, you know, like kind of like what they do with Marvel where they kind of go back and remake some sets and things like that, like just starting July 11th or, you know, whatever, summer wave of 2025, we get three Superman sets, right, based off the movie, and then also considering that Batman Part 2 is releasing that year, do three Batman sets as well. Then I'm thinking consistently from there, the DCU will start, you know, pumping out their content, whether it be shows, whether it be movies, whatever it is, just kind of slowly over the years, kind of like um, releasing their content, whatever, you know, those movies and stuff. So I'm thinking just we keep consistently getting sets, you know, 2025, maybe like late 2025, they release a couple of shows, maybe like one movie, and we get some sets based off of that. Then 2026, we maybe get, like, another Superman set that, like, was a more, like, a spoilery set that they didn't want to release when the movie was originally coming out, and now that, that it's been a long, long enough, they're going to release a full-blown spoiler Lego Superman set in, like, the winter wave. You know, that would be kind of like the winter set of the year, and then in the summer, we're going to get some more s- movies and more shows, and we're going to get some more sets, like, it's going to be amazing. I, I, I can just see the roadmap in my in my head right now. And I love how it's looking. So, there you have it. 2025 and beyond is going to be all DCU stuff. And that's really it. I just want to talk about how I think it's going to be structured. Because that's, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm here to talk about. I'm excited. I'm excited for all this DC stuff. So, if you enjoyed that video, do the comedy YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later.